plant fam <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Jacqueline this is my jungle if you are not new here thank you for coming back so I look like a mess I apologize um, I did not sleep well the last two days I'm feeling like 80% better like I'm not congested and all that nonsense anymore I don't know why I'm waving my sharpie around um but I have this like scratchy like tickle in my throat and I cannot stop coughing for the life of me and it's keeping me up at night so it's really frustrating um if you guys have any suggestions <laughs> please help I've been doing the cough syrup I've been doing all the teas I've been doing like I have this like disgusting throat spray that is like it's literally disgusting but it works and, and like nothing that normally works is working to get this like scratchy tickle out of my throat so had to throw on a beanie because my hair looks crazy haven't like washed my face or done anything so I apologize but I have plant mail so obviously I needed to unbox it with you guys because this one is from Ginger's Greenhouse. I have like a little baby sticker here from her. This is Ginger, her dog. Um, so another Instagram live auction. You guys should definitely check out Anna and her uh, live auctions if you haven't yet. I will leave her information down below for you guys so that you can come and hang out in the live streams. She is on the West Coast, so they're usually a little bit late for me. I'm not always awake <laughs> for all of them, but when I am, she's got some really good stuff and I, I just can't help myself sometimes. So one of these plants is from an auction from a couple weeks ago and one of them is a little bit newer. It took a little while to get things here, but they're here. So there are two plants in this box that I'm really excited about and a new box cutter. Let's open it up, right? I'm gonna try really hard not to have a coughing fit in the middle of this video. It's so frustrating, you guys, like so frustrating. I'm so tired, I just wanna sleep because I can finally like breathe out of my nose. Um, but I still, my throat is just like not, not having it. Oh my God. Oh, there goes coughing fit number one. I sound like a smoker. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, all of the packing peanuts. Again, these are the biodegradable ones that dissolve in water. And I'm going to dig in here. We've got another... I have so many of these stickers. I don't even know what to do with them all. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I just don't want peanuts all over the floor. I'm gonna get peanuts all over the floor. No, no. Stay in the box. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at here. Insulated wrapping somebody commented on my last unboxing and was like why are you showing us the inside of the box so many times I'm like you guys because people want to see what the packaging is like it's not that deep alrighty so here we go no nope. get all this tape off of here all right so inside we have, this is what it looks like, two plants, and then we have a heat pack down here. I'm showing you because people like to see what the packaging is like before they buy plants from somebody. So let's start with the smaller one. Sorry, I'm in the bedroom, so I don't have like as much room. And this is, I'm pretty sure, the philodendron that I got that I hadn't actually ever heard of. Oh, this feels wet. Hopefully everything's okay. So she actually shipped this yesterday, 
or was it Thursday? I don't remember, but it got here really fast. Today is Saturday. I wasn't expecting it to get here until Monday, and I'm not going to lie to you. I was worried about it sitting over the weekend, so let's see. Let's see how it looks. All right, we got our fluke inside. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. These leaves are gorgeous, you guys. So admittedly, I had never heard of this philodendron before, but when I saw it, I knew I needed to have it. So this is the philodendron Wend Imbe. I'll leave it on the screen, screen for you guys, um, but it's a cross between philodendron Wendlandii and philodendron Imbe something. I don't know. I looked it up, but I can't remember. Oh my gosh, look at the variegation. It's so pretty. It's very like sectoral. It's not like super marbly. We've got a really gorgeous half moon leaf here. And if I'm not mistaken, there's more than one plant in here. And I had to fight people for this one. Let me tell you, like I sniped this at the last second in this auction. I was not playing around. I saw this and I just thought it was so stinking cute. And um, even though I had never heard of it before, I knew I needed it because I loved this variegation. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. So if you have one of these in your collection, let me know because I hadn't actually ever heard of it. I will admit that I am still kind of a noob when it comes to like philodendron varieties and stuff like that. I'm definitely more of like a Hoya girl, but I have been really getting into philodendrons and monsteras. So we're learning about all the different types that are out there and I'm learning more and more like what I actually like and then I'm not usually attracted to the popular like heart leaf kind of philodendrons, like sort of to a degree, but I really do love these more like strappy long leaf, right? Oh my God, there's so much active growth in here. So it's looking like it's in her usual soil mix. Sorry, my nose. And it looks like I paid 135 for this one. I genuinely don't remember, but I gotta ask her where she gets these. I like these tall containers. Um, so I don't know if you can see all of those growth points in there, but I'm really, really excited. Yeah, it looks like there's, oh my gosh, there's a cluster of like one, two, three different offshoots and it's working on like a bunch more. So I'm going to let this girl sit and get nice and acclimated to my environment. She's working on some new leaves in here. If you can see, there's a new one. Oh, sorry, I'm a little shaky. There's a new one popping in right here. There's another new one popping. Like, it's just, it's popping. It's popping off with growth everywhere. And it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that leaf, you guys. And this, there's a bunch of half moons. So I want to believe that that's a pretty normal genetic thing that this plant is going to do for me. This leaf is just all white, which is fine because there's plenty of green on the plant to sustain it. And uh, philodendron, wend imbe, variegated. Not mad about it. I love a long leaf philodendron and obviously I love a nice variegated philodendron as well. So, <laughs> so cute. All right, let's put this one down and open up the next one. So this one is super wet um, and I'm a little nervous. So I already have one of these and I love it, but it's a cutting. So when I saw this baby plant, I knew I shouldn't get it, but I also could not help myself, you guys. So let me very gently get all this tape off up here. You always want to be careful when you're using something sharp. You don't want to cut the leaves. I don't know if I'm ready. 
turn so you can see what I see. Do you know what it is yet? You guys, I'm so excited. Do you see it? Do you know what it is yet? Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I bought another. I can't believe I bought another one, you guys, but look at it. Leaf got a little wrinkled, but it'll straighten itself out. So obviously this is a Monstera Thai constellation. But when I saw the genetics on this thing, y'all, I had to have it. It's so pretty. Plus, I have like my bedroom tie that's like up here that you can't see. Um, it's just a cutting. Literally, it's just out of frame. So I wanted like a nice established plant because I want one to be able to live out here in the bedroom. And I want to put one also up in the greenhouse. So that I have one that's like for me <laughs> and one that is like for cuttings maybe one day eventually honestly I don't know let me get all of this out oh my god the roots do you see these roots holy guacamole this is gorgeous okay okay we got everything off now we can focus on the plant itself oh, wow you guys oh okay or my Miranda can just fall on the floor what the hell what in the heck can Bob just happened girl she literally just came out of her whole entire pot I, I need to get a, a rod up to hang these because they're just like hanging off the side of the thing and I probably knocked into it by accident right now. There's dirt all over me. God, what happened? Anyway, this is my lemon lime Maranta that just fell off of the shelf. That's fine. Everything is fine. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating now in this beanie, but that's everything is fine, you guys. Don't worry, we're good. we're all good here, okay? Um, all right, so this is its newest leaf. It's not fenestrated, but it is absolutely gorgeous. This is the leaf right before it that is fenestrated. I'm bummed that they're like a little wrinkly, but it is really hard to um, get the, it's a fungus mat. Oh my gosh, this video is a mess. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. But like, just look at this variegation, y'all. It was too pretty for me to not to not get it. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for it because it's not on here. But I think it was around the same price, like one thirty maybe. So it was a really good price for this nice and established. Look at these roots. Thai constellation. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. I can't with this plant. It is so gorgeous. I don't know which one I love more, to be honest with you guys. The elbow or this Thai con. I guess we're going to have to see when it grows. <laughs> um, the next one on my list that I really, really want is the Aurea. So hopefully I'll be able to snag one of those this year. And, um, yeah, that's it, you guys. So I got my philodendron Wend Imbe. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I'm assuming. I'm going to call her Wendy, you know? So this is my philodendron Wendy. And my new <laughs> Monster Tide Constellation. <sighs> wow, you guys. This just made my whole day. That's crazy. It doesn't even matter that I slept like crap. This just made everything so much better. So definitely go and check out Anna over at Ginger's Greenhouse. Ginger is her dog in case you missed it. She is super sweet and she's got really great plants. I highly recommend coming and hanging out in the 
live auctions. So you guys know I love an Instagram live auction, right? And uh, yeah, that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, you should definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to become part of the official plant fam. You'll get lots of perks, extra content. I'm working on, um, you know, new content this year for my members. And um, it's also just a really great way to support my channel. Plus, you can come and hang out in our group chat on Instagram. If you do join and you want to be part of the group chat, just reach out to me either like here on the community tab for members only or on Instagram. And I am more than happy to add you to the group. It is the best group of women that you're ever going to meet in your life. They're the sweetest things and I love you guys. So it's definitely a fun and very supportive group to be part of. So come on over. We don't bite. Anyway, I'm going to go. I love you fam. And I hope I see you in the next one. Oh, and thank you, Anna, by the way, for these gorgeous plants and ginger too. Okay. Okay. Bye.